in the heart of Yorkshire. Our health service is hard at work. Bansley just waiting for that bed to be ready. We've got your double room, your sea view. A dedicated team working around the clock in casualty. Will somebody do me the next transfer, please? Thank you, loveliness. Anything else hurting? Yeah, my feelings. <laughs> nice to meet you, sweetheart. If it's all tightened up for you, ask somebody else. <laughs> They're with us for our most vulnerable moments. There you go. You're being braver than your mum. That tastes nice. No, oh, bless you. Facing life and death. You either want to live or you don't. Trauma and tears. <gasps> ah. I think there's quite a chance you've broken your hip. Supporting each other through the toughest shifts. You're my favourite. <laughs> this is Barnsley Casualty 24 7. We're going to send you home. <laughs> You're far too cheerful to be an AE. Somebody up there likes me. I love you. I love you. On shift tonight. Any doctors in here? Lovely. Sister Jane Hawksworth. Spend half your life in this department looking for somebody. Consultant Dr. Sue Mason. Tell me what's been happening then. Well, I slid on the ice with the car. I nearly did when I hit that and it turned over. Right. Right. Registrar Dr. Ashley Trimble. Okay then. So I'll just do cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and volunteer Jane Allen. How do you wash up when there's no plug? So get ready to share a shift. I'm having not fun. At Barnsley Casualty. A plug. My kingdom for a plug. The casualty department regularly hits its NHS four-hour treatment target. Joe, you've not seen Tom, have you? No. <sighs> if patients aren't treated, discharged or admitted within that four-hour window, it's known as a breach. You seen Tom, I just need to do a safety huddle. And in charge of keeping those breaches to a minimum today is Sister Jane. You don't know where Rob is, Liz, do you? Yeah, he's just got a lady on three hours 35. But Sister Jane already has a backlog of patients from the night shift. So, currently we have Potential breaches from earlier on this morning because they've had a large doctor wait overnight. We can have horrendous doctor waits sometimes because at night we have a skeleton staff and from a certain time we may only have three doctors on and when you've still got 50 patients in the department, three doctors, it's going to take them a long time to get through those patients. Adding to the pressure and the backlog are the constant new arrivals. Another emergency is being blue-lighted in. Taking the call from the paramedics is Dr Trimble. An 81-year-old man is in excruciating pain after a fall. How long will you be? Because it would be pretty good if we can take him to X-ray and they'll have to recess. So. Dr. Trimble is taking the lead on this case. First, she preps Rhesus. There's no two days the same. The only thing that you can predict is 24 7 someone needs your help. Right, Dr. Trimble, just for one minute, sweetheart. Just while we get you across, all right? While getting dressed, Roy fell over, landing badly on one of his artificial hips. Count three, one. That's it, right. Done. How are you doing? How much pain are you in at the moment? Seven or eight. You have a bit more of this? Please, thank you very much. Okay. This is Roy. I've got reduced sensation in that left foot. It is a lot better colour than it were. Previous dislocated left hip in July. I'm trying it right. Yeah, three months ago. That is about it. The team suspect another dislocated hip, but the worry is Roy could also have multiple fractures. 
The most important thing is getting the x-rays as quick as possible because it helps us diagnose. It's different if there's a fracture and dislocation. Normally means more in specialties involved. And then we're going with x-ray. X-ray, Then resource. With possible fractures and a history of dislocations, Roy could be facing serious reconstructive surgery. In the hub, Dr. Mason's working through the backlog of emergencies and walking wounded. Her next patient is 85-year-old Dorothy. I'm going to find a room to see you in, all right? You can, look. Right, let's move Don't you. Don't make it upstairs. No, I won't. I'll find somewhere. Just bear with me a second, all right? Yeah, all right. Go on, <laughs> She's been involved in a car accident. Right, are you coming with me then? Where are we just, going? We're just going across there. Watch your step. Well, I'll drill him while the chair. Mum, don't worry, you start for you. That's, the... That's for you. I'll get another one. Right, I am Dr. Mason, and this is your daughter in law. Right. Tell me what's been happening then. Well, I slid on the ice with the car. The car right. did it. Right. And it went into another and it turned over. Right. Right. The car were on its route. Oh, and oh yeah. And then right. I, I, I couldn't get out because of my apparatus in the here. <laughs> and two lads got me out. I nearly did when I hit that and it turned over. Were you knocked out or anything? No. As you see me now, this is how I got out. Right. Where were you going at that time <laughs> of the morning? Back up. Oh, post office. Right. For my money. Oh, I see. Yeah, and look, it's still in the and per... Yeah. We tell her I every am... time yeah. why she needs to go out early in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. I just think get it done with and then that's it. Because, love, I do like to go to the boonkies and that... I uh... don't want it interrupting with... <laughs> I see, I see. So, so I might as well be honest with you. So, any aches or pains anywhere? No, well, I've got aches here, but that's the apparatus. So, nothing new? Uh, no. Do you live on your own? That's right. why I talk to my son. And you, t and you cope very well by the looks of things. And do they keep an eye on you? We have yes. to. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. In radiology, Roy's been x-rayed to determine if he's dislocated and fractured his hip. He's now heading to Rhesus to await his results. Wife Liz has arrived to be with him. Not an x-ray. Are you a bit wuzzy? Yeah. Okay. You all right? Here we go. The X-ray results reveal Roy does not have any fractures, but it's not all good news. It's a really bad dislocation. We need to think about how we're going to put that back in joint. Roy's hip needs relocating, and it needs to be done immediately. Scratch coming up. Barnsley Hospital, Sister Jane is battling to clear the ever-growing backlog of patients waiting to be seen in casualty. Are you busy, love? Cubicle 11 just needs some strength, sweetheart. When doctors are tied up with complicated cases, waiting times can shoot up. Have you got Tom Shaw there, love? No consultants. OK. All right, love. Cheers, bye. Consultant Dr. Tom Shaw is in Rhesus, overseeing Roy's sedation for his hip relocation. So I'll just do pull, pull, pull. He's one of three doctors now tied up with just one patient. Okay, there, Roy. 
you want to step? Yeah, do you want yeah, to take, can you bring that? Yeah, no, no, I'll just step up to it. Hip dislocations, you think about the power and all the muscles around the hips. They're an extremely hard joint to relocate. Just a bit of internal rotation. Get up. Getting the joint back into the hip socket is not proving easy. No, nothing is there. Come on, Ashley. <laughs> Couple of big breaths in, Roy. That's it. Go for it. So you want, you want the heat onto your shoulder Fever. and then using your it's shoulder and your weight. leg down a bit onto Ashley's shoulder. If the team can't get his hip back in, Roy is facing major surgery and months of rehab. It's a big leg, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> say, say when. Wait, on three minutes. Okay, just, go. Two oh. seconds, just, I'll just give him a bit more profile. Say when. <laughs> back in the hub, in cubicle nine, Dr. Mason is assessing Dorothy's injuries following a car accident. You've been driving a long time then. A long time, and that's the first accident I've ever had. Right, let me just have another look at that, though. So we'll give it a good clean out. Will you? Yeah. Anything else hurting? Yeah, my feelings. <laughs> So what's the secret then? What secret? To your, to a long life like yours. What's the secret? Reset her on. Really? <laughs> betting, she enjoys it bet. Oh, I love betting. me betting. Oh. I have a, a small glass of whiskey with hot water in every night. That's it then, is That's that what it. we've all got to do? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right then. Are we right? Mate? No problem. No, you, she's got to sit, sit, your sit there till the nurse comes in does your eye. Oh, I hope ain't to sit in another two hours. It won't be long. All right. Yeah, Thank of course you. All right then. Big breath in and out. In recess, the team is having a final attempt to get Roy's dislocated hip back in position. Say when. If they don't succeed, he'll need to be admitted for surgery. <laughs> there is so little movement. <laughs> you do have to have a bit more strength than what you think. Uh, there's some people that don't look like they're very strong um, and they end up being super strong. Do you want me to have a little feel? Yeah. Yeah. Spot open. There's a little bit of something, but it still feels... No. Still short. No. I thought there was definitely movement. There was definitely movement. Right, one last go, and then we'll give it up, yeah? Okay, Roy, that's back in now. Is that the last bit of that anaesthetic you gave there, John? Possibly. <laughs> or just, yeah, just... Oh, we to be just kicked in. I think I listened it off. You listened it off now. You're doing the majority of it. And then my back's feeling it a bit. Yeah. 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 Never mind. Yeah. Okay, there's a gym for tonight, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a worrying wait for wife Liz. So he's just a bit sleepy. Post yeah, all the meds, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're pretty confident it's back in. Roy's hip may be back in the socket, but until he comes round properly from the sedation, the team won't be able to fully assess him. 
main thing is it went back in, so I know it's been exactly. out for a while today, yeah. so it's good to be Yeah. <laughs> the team might face breaking the four hour limit again, but patients in need always come first. I think I'd rather spend five, six, seven, eight hours to make sure that the patient has done appropriate level of care over the breach. So hopefully, really, you mended, hopefully. When you've got a minute, there's a gentleman in cubicle 11 that just needs an ECG. He's sat in a chair, it's him with the guide dog. Would you mind just doing me one? Sister Jane's still battling to get patients through the department without any further breaches during her shift. He's going to breach. He's uh, currently got 10 minutes, but he's, he was going home, but he's tacky at 120, so they want him to have an ECG now. <laughs> Patient flow throughout the hospital is really important and as a coordinator, it's your job to get them out. So you have to be on the ball all the time. Any doctors in here? Lovely. And Sister Jane's job is getting even harder as more complex and time-consuming cases keep arriving in casualty. Are you ready? 59-year-old Denise tripped while out shopping and has a suspected broken ankle. <laughs> Junior doctor George Beatty is assessing her. I'm George, one of the doctors. Hello. Pain-wise, how are we doing? Oh, up to ten. It's good. Yeah, it is. We're going to get you um, some pretty strong painkillers. We need to get a quick x-ray of it. I think we've probably broken it. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I've not just dislocated. It's me we'll have a look. <laughs> These things are more likely. Sister Vicky Walker is in charge of pain relief. Thank you. Feeling. After her fall, husband Stuart drove Denise to casualty. Mm -hmm. Feel really. Weird. Just try and look small. So if you just take that. Just to show your patients actually. <laughs> oh, so you're a nurse. Where do you work then? Uh, practice nurse. Oh, well, yeah. you should be a pro at this then. <laughs> I'm, I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. <laughs> Until Denise can take enough pain relief, the doctors can't examine her fully. All right, lovey. Bye. And in the hub, Sister Jane is trying to keep patients moving. So, um, yeah, that's been done. And then he's going home, but there was a very few nurses going to bring him a nebulizer machine. Okay, that's fine. So, Basically, we're just doing the ECG, aiming home, and then there is bleach in it. That's fine. You have my permission to carry on now, Doctor. Do you want a drink? Yes. Right, let's have a little drink. With everyone pitching in... It's all right, my cherub. Volunteer Jane is doing all she can to support the staff. You'll try that now, my dear. By starting a tea run. But she's facing a backlog of her own. Men laid down. What are you up to, y'all? Just mending this dishwasher, it's got a little leak. So, how am I going to manage making all these cups of tea without a dishwasher? <laughs> You'll have to get your marigolds on. Get me marigolds on? How about you wear marigolds and give me a torch? Yeah. I don't know how to wash up, mate. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, that. <laughs> Men that don't know how to wash up. <laughs> Advanced nurse practitioners like trainee Chantel Proctor... He's in for Chantel. ...also play a big part in easing patient wait times. As a registered nurse, I'd be a bit jealous of doctors thinking I want to be able to do that. When I put this uniform on, especially the stethoscope, it's a little bit surreal. What I like most about my current job is being able to give that little bit more to patients. Have you got... Nurse Chantel's treating 21-year-old Dominic 
who arrived with a painful lump on his neck. All right, it's Dominic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me what brings you to training today. Um, it's my sis, it's got infected. Okay, and when did you last see your GP about this? Um, on Wednesday last week. Wait, Wednesday last week? Okay, not got any better. No. You never look at your neck? Then you head to me. Is it painful? Yeah, it is. Dominic's struggling to turn his neck, so driving is a challenge. Is that a painful yeah, word? To make matters worse, he starts work tomorrow as a trainee paramedic. Just finished my driver training last week. Uh, um, what did that involve? The blue lighting. Is it? Yeah. Ah, brilliant. OK. Right, I'm going to go get ENT to look at it. They're probably going to lance it. Yeah. OK. I'll be with you, don't worry. Have fun. You'll not be on your own. <laughs> Ear, nose and throat specialist Dr Navid Kabuli will perform Dominic's procedure. What, is this your little bag? This is all this one. Have you got locals? I can get you some. John? What's that? So it's just uh, like when you drain it, yeah, put a packet with the dressing, put a dressing on it and then we'll follow you up and I'll clinic in a week's time. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah. It's probably easier if we get you on the bed actually. Yeah. Dominic's girlfriend, Shannon, is on hand for moral support. You're enjoying this? Yeah. First, the area is given a local anaesthetic. Are you OK with the needles? OK, I'll with the sharp scratch. You all right? Yeah, it's a bit stingy. Yeah. Yeah, it just hurts. This bit hurts. Yeah. That should be much more than that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can you can rest like that. Can you feel this? Is it okay? Yep. All right, you ready? In Barnsley Hospital's casualty, Sister Jane has called another shift meeting. Despite their best efforts, 13 patients have been in the department longer than the four-hour NHS limit. Um, There's 13 breaches um, that we've had due to um, following on from the doctor wake this morning. There's been a couple of clinicals and then um, I did get one round that had no beds, so... In cubicle nine, Nurse Chantel's helping to get one more patient through the department. She's assisting Dr Kabuli, Lance assist on Dominic's neck. All right, you ready? Pain, all yeah, right. Just yeah, okay. I'm just trying to empty out as much as I yeah, can. It's hard, but. Have you got the plenty syringe? Alright, let's just give me a bit of a wash out. He's giving you a clean now, okay. Yeah. At least you can go to work tomorrow with a war wound. <laughs> Dominic's all set. Now he can go home and get ready for the start of his new career as a paramedic. Couldn't have timed that better. Eh? Couldn't have timed that better, could you? Yeah, I like chocolate. I like sweet stuff and things like that. There's no plug. How do you wash up when there's no plug? In the staff kitchen, volunteer Jane is still trying to find a way to wash the dishes. 
not even left me any marigolds. Do you know if we've got any plugs anywhere? Plugs, you know, to put it sink? I'm like a ninja, creep up anywhere. Well, maybe not. It's a round one. <laughs> what type of plug is it? <laughs> because the dishwasher's broke. So um, we really do need. Yeah, yeah, make it do a mend. Thank you very much, dear. No problem. A plug. My kingdom for a plug. Uh, that's Shakespeare to somebody. Got a plug. No. Don't work. Problem's not solved. Can you think her own? If I put a rubber glove over it, you think that would work? <laughs> But she's a rubber glove, let's have a go. Look at that. Leave my husband Rory and I in a sort of it because he's very good at all like this. I'll put that in there. That's it's working. Look, it's worked. Get yourself to me and Q Jane. What, get a job? You're wested here. I'm wested. <laughs> But it's working, look, it's, it's holding the water. Good, good. Yeah, I think we've done all right there. That's it, it's a, I've got a sink there. Good for that. In the hub, Sister Jane's problems are a long way from being fixed. Can I just tell you some bad news? The top one, that will. Right, so you can go to CD. Yeah. Is this is it I'm going to have another breach. Cos there's, there's no beds on CDU. Right, okay, love, cheers, bye. Nice and still. In recess, Dr. Beatty is getting Denise ready to have a broken ankle manipulated back into position. That's okay, not too yeah. bad. No, nine out of ten for that one. There you go. Hello. Consultant Dr. Dave Walker is leading the team. I'd like to straighten it a bit before we expert. Yeah. Okay, it's not good for your skin. Stretch, stretch that. Might just grab another pair of hands. Leave the course of that. Who are the sedates? A third doctor is called in to help. Waiting times in casualty will increase further. Hello. Hello. Consultant Hello. Dr. Chris Young is overseeing Denise's sedation. Never. Never. Get in for I'll give you a little bit so you can sort of feel what's going on. Okay? <laughs> it's going to make you feel very strange. Right. Okay, you may hallucinate, but you probably will hallucinate. Most people like to go into space for some reason. Right. No idea why. Yeah. Okay, just relax, go with it. Okay, some people find it quite a pleasant thing. Right. Yeah. It shouldn't take long. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's get started. Right. Let me get my bits and pieces together. She says. Never being high, but to be sure. <laughs> Taking a break on medications? No, nothing, no. Don't worry. Where do you want to be? <laughs> Husband Stuart decides it's time for him to disappear. Are you going away this year? I am, yes. Where about she going? She's going to Canary Island. Oh, lovely. On a cruise. On a cruise, when you go there? It's about six, seven weeks. So, oh, pressure's fingers, on. Fingers crossed <laughs> on them samples. Pressure's nice on. I love a good old doll, Jimmy. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm like the ED do this charm as. Right, I'm just going to give you just a little bit of it a second. I like where you're going to go to. Uh, Canary Island. Uh, there's a way you're going in your dreams. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> to Canary Island. To Canary Island. Yeah. 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 To Norfolk, probably. Yeah. Norfolk? Yes, I love Norfolk roads. Oh, okay. Can I put my stocking it off there? Sorry, As the pain relief kicks in, Sister Vicky can begin. Feeling a bit weird, eh? She's hard for she's a nurse. Chris will tell us when he thinks you're ready to. You okay? How you Once the sedation actually takes effect, the team get to work. So I'm having a neat pot, Doctor. Dr. Walker is overseeing junior Dr. Beatty, 
who's attempting to manipulate the bone back into alignment. Just lean back and yep. pull a bit. Mm -hmm. How's it feeling? How's it feel? It's not a lot of give, but it looks like it's come into position. So, I'm happy with it straight into the field. Uh, it looks good. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Yeah, yeah, looks all right. Yeah. Just mould it a bit, can't we, in the plaster? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of that pressure on here. George is now going to have the infant of his stethoscope in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's yeah, you ready? Now. Yeah. Now her ankle is in a better position. How are you? Yeah. Doctor Young can bring Denise round. Feeling okay? Any funny dreams or see anything bizarre? No. Good. Perfect. I don't know. Just what we're aiming for. Well, I think Lawrence is the best one to be able to No problem. Denise is left to recover before going into x ray. Patients keep coming and the doctor wait time is increasing. In cubicle nine, Dorothy's about to have the cut above her eye dressed. Healthcare assistant and trainee nurse Adam Helliwell is looking after her. Oh, Hello. Is it Dorothy? It is pleased to meet you. My name's Adam. I'm just going to have a look at that wound if that's all right. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. I've waited long enough for you, Adam. Oh, we're quite busy, aren't we? Are you? Mm. Well, I don't know about that. I'll take your word for you. You're going to have to. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to give it a quick clean. We'll be all right. Yeah. Uh... Just bear with me. Have you done it? It's not, it's not a bad laceration, that, that you've done to yourself. Casma! Well, ice! Oh, ice? This morning. Car just glid. All right, love it. Okay. It's nice and still for me, all right? Mm. OK. Mm. I'm just going to squeeze on, all right? Mm. Nice and still for me. Am I all right, then, to wash my face and that? I'd leave it for next... For next 24 hours or so. Oh, my God, fathers. Is that it? That's it. Just make sure that you keep it clean, don't let no dirt go in. I'm not going to give you no dressings because it's really close to your eye. Yeah. So, so obviously, I, the dressing will just go over your eye and I don't yeah. want that. No, you don't. You All want right, me to see everything, not to see as well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're free to go home. All oh, right. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right. I'll try my best. Uh, She'll have two tots of whiskey instead of one. <laughs> you, hey, that oh. could be good, couldn't it? <laughs> now Dorothy's patched up. She can head home. In time, she hopes, to put a bet on at her beloved bookies. <laughs> Recovering in cubicle 11 is Roy, who's come round from the anaesthetic after having his artificial hip put back in joint. Hi, Roy. But if he wants to leave today, he must prove he can walk and bear his own weight. What we'll do now, then, is we'll have a look at you getting off the trolley and see how you get on. Physiotherapist we'll... Liz Hughes and occupational therapist Kate Wass will decide what happens next. Is that pain in your leg all right at the minute? Have you got any pain? I'm, I'm going Nothing pain. at all. Brilliant. OK, right then. You... Right, I'm just going to Considering what down. you've been through, I think paracetamols, uh, right. if you manage on that, you've done just really well. If you can. Gradually bring yourself forwards, nice and steady. That's it, lovely. Hands on, OK? It just, just feels sore. Like yeah. it's pulling a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So with this, you just need to slide it forwards. You're oh. probably actually better stepping with your your leg first, exactly, so the one that they've just sorted. So you can just slide it. That's it. That is good. 
Should we get rid of that and just see what you like holding on to me? Roy's biggest hurdle is yet to come. Are you OK? Are you coping? If he can't manage the stairs, he won't be going home. Roy, which side is your handrail on at home? That side. So just use that side. Wait a minute. Right. Let's do this properly. So you're better coming up with your better leg. So if I was you, I'd do one step at a time and I'd lead with your stronger leg. Lovely. Take your time. Make sure your feet are fully on the step. Lovely. Put both hands on the rail if it helps. Lovely. To be honest, I've never seen anybody recover quite as well. Oh, right. I've never been able to assess somebody the same day. All right. Better? A lot better. Nice to see you. Good. Nice to see you, too. Thank you for your help this morning. Anytime. Roy is set to go home just a few minutes under the four-hour limit. What's the plan? The plan is to go home. Good. I don't want to see you again. No, I've had a nice one. <laughs> All right, take care. Thank you. All the best. See you later. Bye. Eight hours into the shift, the team are pulling together right across the department. Right, Connor. I'm Dr Mason. Hiya. In cubicle 10 is 19-year-old Connor, who had a nasty motocross accident two days ago. Going on, so tell me what's been happening. Uh, this morning I went, went to the toilet and then I like, blood in my wee. Right. His dad, Richard, brought Connor to casualty. You've never had problems like this before? No, and you, before. You otherwise feel fine, do yeah. you? Yeah. We've yeah. done a sample while we've been here, but that witness. Yeah, that's still got blood in it. Is it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. What was the original ah. sort of accident? I ride my bike and I've come over a jump. Yeah. And I've gone down, it dug into the floor, and I've gone over handlebars and hit my back. And I right. felt some like twist or crack or something. Have a lie on the couch for me, just on your back, if you don't mind. I'm just going to have a little feel of your tummy. Is that OK? Yeah, that's fine. Just tell me if it hurts anywhere, won't you? Just relax your tummy as much as you can, that's oh, it. That's so. That is so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, sit you up again. So, he's... You're very sore round the... Right at the bottom of your rib cage. Yeah. And I suspect that you may have cracked a rib down there. Your tummy's a bit sore around there as well, yeah. and you've had this blood in the urine. Right. And that sometimes means that there's been some injury to the kidney. What I think we need to do is do a scan and just have a look at that. Yeah. Pop through in the waiting room, have a seat, and I will come and let you know what's happening All in right, a minute. thank you very right, much. Thanks. Cheers. If the scan shows kidney damage, Connor may need surgery and face a potentially lengthy stay in hospital. Is he going to be staying in or going home? In casualty, Sister Jane's been on the back foot all shift. Right, we really need a plan. Has anybody seen Helen? Dr Helen? She's been trying to prevent any further breaches of the NHS's four-hour window. You what, love? I think so, because they've sent them up to the discharge lounge and what have you, so they, pr they probably should be now. And she's cleared most of the backlog. But one patient who's not going anywhere for now is Connor. Hello, is it Connor? <laughs> Following a motocross accident, he's having a CT scan to check for any damage to his kidneys. We do need to give you an injection, so that's all right. Yeah. So it might be a bit cold going up your arm, but the more strange that you may feel like you're wetting yourself. All right. You won't be. No. Are you okay there? Be about three or four minutes. Okay, Paula, so we're all done. Okay. Yeah. Back to no worries. Right, just come in. So we've got the scan results back. Um, why did he have some blood in the urine? Well, the likelihood is there has been some 
mild internal injury right. to the kidney, but it's it's mild, it's not showing up on a scan, so the chances are that that will clear up now completely. Right. You might notice a bit of pinky tinging in the water over the next day or so, but it should just tail off to nothing. Right. If it gets worse and it gets darker and more red, obviously come back and see us. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. In terms of future activities, yeah. I would wait till you're feeling better right. uh, before you go back to I think, I think we'll doing more. Of weeks off you might want to at least a week or so off just to make sure everything's yeah, going, yeah. going back to normal. This is a reminder never to get drunk and have your legs waxed. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>